Several years ago, I wrote an article on the Faith Life blog that talks about how to choose a Bible for preaching. The article, uh, it covers you know, what you do need, what you don't need, the fact that you need one specifically for preaching, uh, what it needs inside, how you handle it, where you put it, the type of preaching that you do, the type of size that you, know, that you need. Um, it just keeps going here. Uh, how, how you hold it. Uh, the, the advantage in the layout, the paragraph, verse by verse, column width, section headings, chapter summaries, running header, the different types of print you can choose, font sizes, line matching, lectern Bibles, study Bibles, how to choose one for you, what works best for you. Now this article, it was uh, actually 4,000 words long, and they had to trim it down for publication. That, that's normal a lot of times, and uh, so that's understandable, So, but they did have to cut out quite a bit of it. But anyway, I want to go through and choose a Bible for preaching for me. So this series will cover how I am choosing a Bible. And I'm going to start with a baseline, and that baseline will be the KJV Preaching Bible. The reason for that is that I'm choosing KJV simply because that's, that is what I preach from. And so I'm just going to stick with that. And then since this one is made specifically for preaching... I'm going to use it as my baseline, and then we're going to start from there and, and choose a Bible. Now, what I'm looking at is the cover material. I'm looking at the fact of whether or not it stays open. I'm looking at how easy the pages are to turn. I'm looking at how easy the text is to read. I'm looking at how easy it is to find. I'm looking at the tools that it has versus what I actually need in a Bible. I don't necessarily need... Um, concordances and things like that in a Bible that I'm preaching from. Um, so I'm looking at the quality of print. I'm looking at how, how, how large the print is. Just a little bit of everything. So what I'm doing is looking at different Bibles. Every week I'm preaching with different Bibles. And then I am going to compare them to my baseline and decide the, what the preaching experience was like based on what the preaching experience is like on this one. It might become the new baseline. So if it does, then I'll compare every Bible, every Bible to that. So this one is the Thomas Nelson KJV Preaching Bible, and I use it quite a bit. I like it a lot. Uh, some of the things that I like about it is the fact that it stays open on its own. I don't have to fight it. So that's not, a, that's not an issue. The text is easy to read. It's dark. It's a large enough print. But now, the things I have to decide. How large of a print do I need? How big of a Bible do I need? What am I going to do with this Bible other than preach from it? Am I going to carry it with me? Am I going to take it with me when I visit other uh, churches? When I preach in other churches, am I carrying it to preach from? Or am I only preaching from uh, my own church? So those are things that I need to, to decide. Uh, do I need to write notes in it? Does it need to be a wide margin edition? That kind of thing. So every week, I'm trying a, a different Bible, a couple of Bibles maybe, and just comparing to the baseline. But there are a few things I can go ahead and, and, and uh, eliminate, and I'll show you. I'm going to eliminate anything as with the size of a pit minion. I love the pit minion. It's one of my favorite designs of all time. But this Bible is a little bit small. And I know I'm not going to use this as my primary preaching Bible. And that's the whole purpose of this. Primary preaching Bible. So my, my pulpit is going to sit about right here, which is not bad at all. I can read that from here. But can I read it in public speaking and just automatically find my place and that kind of thing? It, you know, it's a nice design, but it kind of favors reading more than it favors preaching. Simply because the verse numbers are kind of small. It is paragraph, and the verse numbers don't stand out in those paragraphs. So I don't really, for me, this isn't ideal for preaching. And that comes to another point. Just because I don't think it's ideal for me for preaching doesn't mean it's not ideal for you for preaching. And just because I um, knock a Bible out of the running doesn't mean I don't like the Bible for other uses. And it actually doesn't even mean that I don't like it for preaching. It just means that I don't, I don't want it compared to what I'm using as my baseline at the time. So for that, I'm going to knock out the KJV Pit Minion, even though I love the Bible. Another one I'm going to knock out is the KJV Personal Size Concord. Not because it's a small text. It is a small text. 
but that's not entirely my problem. I can actually read this. I've preached from this. The problem is it doesn't want to stay open on its own. I'm not going to fight against my Bible on my pulpit. I'm just not. I'm not going to do it. I love this Bible. One of my favorite Bibles. But there it is in Genesis. And it, it's, I'm, no, <laughs> I, I can't use this. I, I just, I will not use this. It needs to stay open on its own without me fighting against it. And I'm not really so worried. You know, this is a French Morocco. I'm not really so worried about what the cover material is. It just needs to last long enough. I mean, yeah, it doesn't have to last me a lifetime. I wouldn't mind having a, a Bible that I didn't have to replace every couple of years. So it does need to be a little bit long-lasting. But it needs to stay open. This paper is, long, is easy enough to turn. The font's dark enough to read. But... It, for me, it's not ideal for preaching simply because I want to. I want it to be able to stay open without me fighting against it. Another type of Bible that I'm not going to use is a study Bible. They do have a lot of commentary and things like that. They're good for study, but at the same time, the, a lot of times the material can get in the way, and you know, depends on the design of the study Bible. You can you can be turning several pages just to get the next um, the next paragraph. So I'm not going to use a study Bible. So, there's a few Bibles that are already knocked out of the running. Something that's too small that I can't read, and something that won't stay open on its own. So, tune in next week for episode 2 of What Bible Will Randy Choose? And to figure out, help me figure out what Bible I am choosing for preaching for me. Thanks.